Facebook. Let's see. Let's have a look. What? Oh, come on, you've got to be joking me. Okay, I'm going to have a rant about this. Hey, everybody, and welcome to an official Daz Rants. This week, we are going to start off with um, something that I really, really, really want to get off my chest. I think that this was covered perfectly by Mashable, which I seen, which was shared on, ironically, Facebook, which is where I'm going to talk about today. And it is titled, 12 Facebook Statements You Need to Retire. What this all is all about is um, the most common statuses that are out and about on Facebook today, which people really, 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 really need to put an end to. So without any further ado, I'm going to get straight in there. I'm sure that you'll pick up along the way, and I'm sure that many of you will agree with what I'm saying. Okay, let's start with number one, the braggy relationship status. My boyfriend is the best. It's not even our anniversary or my birthday. He's just so sweet. We appreciate the flowers. The flowers are nice and everything, but really, did you have to put the status alongside it? Obviously, you're just making kind of a boastful remark on you. And we totally get that, but we don't need to say it. We really don't. And you'll not get a lot of likes from it either because secretly what people are thinking is show off. On the other hand, what I would also suggest is go on your boyfriend's Facebook page, see if he shared that status, because I'm pretty sure that he wouldn't have done. And if he did, by the way, he's gay. Number two, the attempt to make mundane tasks sound interesting status. Oh my God, such a busy day. Laundry, gym, grocery store, go to try this recipe. HTTP, blah, 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 blah. Wish me luck, close bracket, and I have paper. Due tomorrow, I totally forgot about. Someone get me a coffee IV, please, LOL. That's exactly how I feel after reading that status. There is far, far too much crammed in there. And to be fair, if you are putting a status on like that, I guarantee you 150% that nearly all your statuses are the same every day. We don't care. We really, really do not care what you do day to day. It's your thing. We've all got a thing. But we don't have to post it on social media. You know when I wake up on the morning and I go and do my morning routine, the first thing that I do not think of doing is jumping on Facebook and saying, good morning everybody, I'm off to the toilet. Number three, the detox forward slash cleanse forward slash health food junkie status. Detox day six, exclamation marks. Eat clean, exclamation mark. Check out this nom vegan dinner I made. What is a nom vegan dinner? Wouldn't it have been better to put, check out this vegan dinner, dot, 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 nom. That would have made a lot more sense. Eat clean. What is this eat clean? Do people eat dirty? You know, what is this clean eating? Are people buying vegetables and cutting them up and cooking them without even washing them? Because if they do, that's disgusting. We all need to be washing vegetables. Even if they come in a bag that says pre-washed, I would still wash it. You can never be too careful. Does making a vegan mean that you automatically start detoxing every single day of your life? I, I don't get it, you know, is there some magic in tofu that somebody's not telling me about? Number four, the sad sack status. I guess I'm single again. I really thought he was the one. Attention seeker. You're not going to get any attention from that. It's just another boyfriend, isn't it? And yeah, it's sad to say that you really thought that he was the one this time, which tells me straight away that you've had other relationships and you've also, it's not the first time that you've updated the status, is it? I'm going to be pretty confident that it's not going to be the last time that you update the status either. People don't like it. Number five, the chain letter hoax status. Look, Bill Gates is giving away money. Share this and you'll get $5,000. Stop! 
think about this logically. There are millions and millions and millions of people on Facebook now. It's been running since 2007. It is one of the top performing social media networks out there. If Bill Gates, you know, the multi, multi millionaire that he is, is going to give out 5,000 to everybody who would share that status, wouldn't we all be doing this? The second thing that you need to have a look at, look at the photo. Because the photo tells you exactly what you need to know. The photo, you can see, if you look closely enough, is photoshopped. It's a blank piece of paper and somebody's basically put the te took the text, photoshopped it on the picture because it doesn't even line up with a piece of paper. You need to use your heads, people. Not everything that you see on Facebook is gospel. A lot of it is photoshopped. A lot of it is not believable. You need to stop sharing this. It's crap. We're not interested. Number six, the overly aggressive, passive aggressive status. SMFH, why do people always gotta be talking smack? Whatever, just tell me to my face. Firstly, with this whole talking smack thing, as far as I'm concerned, smack is either when you smack a hand or smack is another meaning for the drug heroin. So if people are talking smack, then really they shouldn't be doing that, especially on social media, where there's other people about, you know, and young children, it's just not right. However, if smack is meaning a term, such as people talking about you, then why not just put that on? Well, obviously you're making a point to get something out there for people to understand, but not everybody understands this jargon. It makes no sense. Secondly, where they say, whatever, just tell me, tell this to my face. I see this a lot on people's Facebook about somebody talking about somebody else and I haven't got the guts to tell them to the face. You know what? You want to say who it is, but you won't name them. So you are equally just as bad as that person. And you're sitting there now going, well, no, no, not really. That's not the case at all because I actually put it on and I didn't mention them, but they've mentioned me to somebody else at the same time, even though I haven't done it to them. So technically I'm still respected. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't because at the same time, what you're doing is you're putting it out there on Facebook for people to look at and think, what's going on? You're trying to blow something that's up all out of proportion that doesn't need to be blown out all out of proportion. What I would do if I were you is I would go and take it up with the person directly and not even on social media. And that will make you a happy person, then maybe not a happy person, but all the rest of us will be such happy people because we won't have to read that crap. Number seven, the threatening Facebook status. Facebook sucks, I'm ditching this whole if you are not going to put on statuses in full about what's happened, what is the point? You have just wasted your energy and time putting things on there. Because again, what you're doing is you're trying to plant the information for other people to come on and ask you. Did it make you feel better by posting that status in the first place? No. It didn't. So what's the point? You really need to abandon this because people are getting pretty sick of looking at stasis like this a lot. Number eight, the friend purge stasis. If you can see this, you survived my friend purge. Lucky you. Lucky me. The thing being is what you don't already realize is whilst I am your friend and on your list, I blocked you on my timeline months ago because I got sick and tired of looking at your status. It doesn't matter who is and who isn't your friend because the fact of the matter, what does matter is, is that most of them won't even say what you're actually putting on the timeline because they've already unfollowed you. So whenever you type your lovely little statuses in on Facebook, they're not even bothered because they don't even say it half the time. So if they, you've defended them, they're not even going to notice. Let's be absolutely fair. So do yourself a favor. Don't even waste any time of that in the future. Number nine, the board status. Oh, I'm so bored, lol, HMU. Then why bother updating? If you both find something to do, that took like a second to update, but you've still got like hours and hours and hours in the day to do whatever you want to do. So 
Stop wasting time by posting pathetic statuses on Facebook that people are going to read and they are not going to be in the slightest bit interested whether you are bored or not. 10. The false information about Facebook status. Facebook has changed their privacy settings once more due to the new graph app. Anyone on Facebook, including other countries, can see your pictures, likes and comments. The next two weeks I'll be posting this and please, once you've done it, please post done. Those of you who do not keep any information from going out to the public, I will have to delete you. I want to stay privately connected with you. I pull shots of the family that I don't want strangers to have access to. This happens when our friends click like or comment. You really need to start looking at what Facebook is about. And because you've got it so wrong, literally so wrong. See how you do it is when you post a picture, it will automatically go public unless you specify to share it with your friends first. So don't start sending all this out about, you know, Facebook, graph hack, blah, blah, blah. You must do X, Y, and Z. If you don't, I will have to delete you because you know what? The chances that they're going to do it is going to be very, very small. So in the future, what I would do if I were you is I would just literally change that little world icon from public to share with friends. Number 11 the spoiler status oh my god the ricin was in the stevia if somebody goes on facebook and does a spoiler for something that i'm watching i am far from happy facebook does not revolve around you and not everybody is running their life at exactly the same time as what you're running it at some of us work late some of us work early some of us might be sleeping some of us live in another country so where if you're all in the, the US and you're watching Dexter season eight, some of us haven't got it here yet. So please, please, please stop doing it. Be a bit more considerate to your fellow companions here. The latest one that I'm seeing is the Scorch Trials. Now I just happened to watch the Maze Runner last week and if any of you, any of you tell me what happens in the Scorch Trials, there's gonna be big business going on. Number 12, the fake status. Uh, why? Why? Why just... Why? Why? Why bother? This really, 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 really ticks me off. It is just a waste of breath. Cyber breath. It is just... There's no point to it whatsoever. Ugh. And what makes it worse is the comments underneath. What's wrong? Life. You know what? You don't even need a Facebook account. What you need to do is go and get a life. That's what you need to do. You need to have your phone, your tablet, your computer, and everything that links to Facebook taken off you. And you need to go out there and live life. And then, after a year's time, come back, and then we'll start seeing your Facebook statuses. Let's see if you're gonna be posting the same stuff anymore. Okay guys, that's everything uh, that I had for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please give the video a like. And uh, also you can hit that button subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, please remember, if you think it was applicable, share it about with those friends, especially the annoying ones on Facebook. Maybe they might get the hint. I shall see you on the next video. Remember, you can find me on Wednesdays and Fridays. And I'll see you all really soon. Bye-bye. So, that's the